I previously had a video on how to edit and blur a photo in Canva, and this is the old style. You can click edit image and then go to blur. But of course, Canva is always adding and changing and updating things. So they have a new way to edit photos, and I'm going to show you how to blur a photo in the new way. So if you haven't updated to the new version of Canva with the ability to do this, you can check it out and do that. And if you have already, then you'll see that this is a little bit more familiar and it's the new way. So instead of edit image, up here it now says edit photo. Okay, let's look at the ways you can do blur in Canva. So I've already selected a photo of myself. And so basically you can go and select the photo. You can go over to adjust, click adjust here. And then there's an option to select the area. You can do whole image, foreground, or background. And I'll pick a different image to show you how the background works because obviously this background is already blurred because of how I took the photo. But basically you can select either of those and we're gonna select whole image and then we can go down here to sharpness. So sharpness basically means you can either blur or sharpen a photo. So if we click this direction, we start to see a blur. So that is one way to do it. So if you go negative 100, you can see I'm very blurry now. So let's pick another photo actually to demonstrate this on. All right, let's add just a random picture of people at the park. So this has people in the foreground, in the background, and this will show you how it works. Then you select the photo, click edit photo, and you go back to adjust. And then you select the area you want to blur. So let's do whole image first. Scroll down to sharpness. Then you can either type negative 100 and it will blur everything. Or you can use the sliding scale to blur it slightly or go further. And of course, if you go the other way, it will sharpen it. So you can make it a little bit sharper. If you go too far, it doesn't look right. But if you blur, you can pretty much blur the whole photo. So let's go back to zero and have our standard picture. And then I'll show you the foreground. So let's select the area, go click on foreground, click that. And then the foreground will be selected. So you can then go back down to texture where it says sharpness and use the slider to adjust so that the foreground blurs. So you can see how these people are blurry now, but in the background, that's all still sharp. So you blur everything in the front, but the back is still sharp. So that's one option. You can either click the undo button or do command Z or go down here and click zero. So you have some options there. So the last option with the adjust here for the photo is to select the area of the background, select that. And then it automatically with the little AI tools will select the background. And then you can once again, go down to texture, sharpness, and then drag it over so that the background is now blurry. So you can see the people in the foreground, they're still sharp. You can still see all the details of these people, but the background is blurry. The one thing to note is that this isn't a perfect method. So you can see this girl randomly is still sharp, like she's in the foreground, but next to her, all of that is considered background. So it doesn't, and then this guy's body is sharp, but his face is blurry. So if it's a very detailed picture like this one, you might have some issues, but that is how you do blur with the new version of the adjust. The other way to do it is to click the photo, of course, then go to edit photo and then FX effects. So there are all sorts of different ones here. And as you can see under FX effects down here, you have options including blur. So click on blur. And then the only option here with blur is to actually do the intensity. So you can make it incredibly blurry. Unfortunately, this removed a lot of the options that you had in the previous version of the photo editor. If you want, you can always go back to that. And I have a tutorial on how to use the old version. So down here, you'll see that they have an option to go back to the old experience. If you don't like the new editor, or you have something you want to do the old way. You can still do some of the old hacks in that are from the old version, like doing a foreground picture and cutting yourself out and blurring the background. So how that looks is you have basically one photo and then you basically just make a copy. So copy and paste, you can go to select and then go copy and then paste like that. Then you would take the top one, edit photo, 
and then remove the background. So there is that version of doing it. So you could remove the background on the top one and then put it over so it just matches and then basically grab the bottom one and then use the blur to make it super blurry. So there is that option. You would basically have just like two photos. So this is the top one that stays sharp. And then you have the background where you use the blur function to adjust the intensity. So that's definitely still a hack that works. Basically with the new one, you just have to create two different photos and then edit the one behind to make it more blurry. And then the top one, or you can do it the opposite way and do it with the foreground and background. Okay, another way you can blur in this, let's select a new photo and do the other blur option that we have. So once you have a photo selected, click edit photo, and then under FX effects, you also have this autofocus. So this will actually kind of focus in on one area, keep it sharp, and then it blurs everything outside of that. This is definitely done by AI, so it's not always perfect, but the cool thing is you can adjust it. So basically you have blur intensity and focus position. So with focus position, you can click and see where it's decided to focus, and then you can adjust it. So if you want it to focus on the people in the background instead of these people in the foreground, you would just slide it to see where that purple is, see where that AI magic is working, and then drop it. And then it's gonna automatically focus on wherever you've dropped it, and then everything else is gonna be blurry. You can also adjust the blur intensity. So if you don't want it to blur at all and you're like, this is stupid, you can always go down to zero, or you can just slide it and see how blurry you want them to be. So let's go back to how it was in the beginning with these guys in focus, and then these ladies blurred. So you can see that the blur in the background at 51 is pretty good. You can always drop that down so they're a little bit more in focus or a little bit more, or you can go really blurred and kind of drag it all the way over so that you really just see the foreground and these guys walking. So that is one option as well. The autofocus is a way to blur photos. It of course is based on this slider. So it selects things as it decides they're either in the foreground or important. So as you can see at this position, the background selected and the lady's head, but not her body. So that kind of stuff happens with the new editing tools. It's not perfect, but it is a lot easier for the majority of people to do these really cool blur effects with the sliders and the AI technology. So it has some benefits, but also some drawbacks too. If you were used to using the old editor where you have a lot more ability to like select things and blur them as you want. And of course this video is good for the current update of Canva. They are constantly changing things and updating things and creating whole new experiences. So this video is only as good as long as you're able to use it. But of course you can actually still click here and go back to the old editor and use the old style as well. So if that is something you're interested in, Canva does still allow you to do that at the time of this video. I hope this has been helpful and helped you figure out how to blur your photos in Canva for the current new editor as it is.